What's up guys, Nepenthes here, and welcome back to another So Rare video. Um, a lot has changed since the last video, a lot has happened. I'm still trying some new things, testing the waters. Our game week is coming to a close. I don't have much going on for the next game week. Um, so today, I think it's going to be a little uh, a little summary of game week 236. A little uh, look at what we're going to do for game week 237. A little discussion about what I've purchased and why, what I've sold and why. And um, one a last thing about, you know, about a giveaway. Uh, now, of course, if you guys are enjoying So Rare, you want to drop a thumbs up on the video, subscribe to the channel. That would be absolutely phenomenal. If you guys are involved in So Rare, of course, please be sure to do your own research and do not take anything I say here as financial advice because it isn't. In fact, I've done something... I say risky, it's like low level risk, but risky today that could entirely backfire. And there are some other like uh, things I'd like to discuss with regards to what I've done today and why it might be a bad thing and something that I want to do with regards to showcasing it after the fact. But the fact that this is on blockchain and people can just follow my account, why it also might be difficult to do that. And uh, if you do sign up so rare, you want to use my affiliate link. The link is down below. It will also be the pinned comments. So first of all, what did I sell? Um, manager sales. That's purchases. There's sales on here. Nope. I don't want manager sales. I want offers received. Here we go. So, nope. Here we go. This got sent and then cancelled. I might have accepted that. Um, so, I got offered one Ethereum, Joseph Scally, and Kevin Malquit for my Hisage. I decided to accept it because I actually want to use the Ethereum to reinvest in a few other bits and bobs with some video content funnily enough i could have just added some ethereum uh, but the person that i sold it to max he's actually a content creator himself uh, he reached out we had a chat on the dms on discord um, and he sent me joseph scally who is an 18 year old bundesliga active center back who's worth about 0.2 ethereum and kevin malquit who i believe it doesn't play yeah he doesn't um he's not worth too much uh, he's currently 30, but of course, should he get a transfer and start being active again, his price will go up. So uh, I, I was willing to accept that. It was a bit of a weird one because on the one hand, Isaj was, of course, my very first unique. Um, and so it was, I don't know, it it, it it was hard to get rid of him, especially as, as it was like an earned unique, like a first owner. Um However, I couldn't really do anything with him and I could do something with the funds from him. Um, so I, I sold him, basically. Um, I'm trying to get rid of some other cards as well. And when we look at my cards currently, uh, we're going to go to a few of these guys in a second. Um, I've got a few more referrals. I shouldn't really be getting referral players anymore. I spoke to um, like one of the guys that's so rare and asked him what the deal is here. I, should, I shouldn't be getting any more referral players. I've got six more, uh, so I thought I'd claim those on here with you guys. So we get Marco Mihojevic, 25-year-old defender. All I want when I get referrals is players that are active. We get Damien Mark, ooh, from uh, the Belgian League. We get Han the Man, gave us Max Bruns. Ooh, an 18-year-old from Twente. He could be interesting. Rohil R for, oh, Miho Mihojevic again. <laughs> uh, cool. Um, we get uh, Sim Vershalko. Now that Trippier has been sold, he might be very useful. And we get Rick Van Drongelen, a 20-year-old Dutch defender. So let's have a little look at those cards and if there's any active players there. Um, Van Drongelen, Vershalko. So Vershalko, yeah, as expected, now that Trippier has gone, Vershalko could actually be a decent card um 10 pounds worth there so one thing that i did uh just to show you guys and, and i want to talk about the the positives the negatives the ins and outs and everything right i bought seven honor organs as you can see the price is there 14.68 for three of them 14.20 for one of them 14.44 for one of them and 17 pound 86 for one of them now the ones that are left on the market outside of the two that i have uh that you could actually purchase one at £17.39, which is just below mine. One at £23, and then two at £28 from the same guy there as well. The reason why I purchased him, I was looking on So Rare Data, and uh, he's playing for Hataya Spore, and currently they're doing very, very good in the league. Um, I want to just show you, and 
again this is uh this is one of those things that is is literally something i'm just looking to test uh so hatai spore have got in their next few games they have got alanya spore as their next game who are currently um eighth and hatai spore are third now chani said to me that they are not notoriously a good team and they're just having like a crazy season or whatever uh, they've also got Rise Spore next after, who are down in 19th. They've got Kaiseta Spore, who are down in 12th. They've got a cup game, and then they've got Gots Tepe, who are down in 16th. So first and foremost, they've got a favourable run. Even if they were just a mid-table team, they've got a favourable run over the next four games. And this guy, Oregon, has been playing well, right? Um, when I look at their squads, Oregon is starting at the moment um where is he on here the uh midfielder where is he on here so ergen there uh on ergen and one of the main reasons he's playing right now is of course because saki st louis traore they are all at afcon uh they have to field three turkish players and i guess he must just be like the next guy and then obviously uh Diouf is away as well uh, El, Kab El Kabi is away. Karaba is away. Um, and I think they had one more. Uh, I think Fallet is also away. So there's a lot. Even Munir, their goalkeeper, is probably away as well. So they've got a lot away at AFCON. I don't know if all of them are at AFCON. But, uh, you know, they've definitely got a lot of players that could potentially be at AFCON. They've got the, the other Adama Troyore. And so he's playing. And he hasn't been playing. And they have favourable matches. And he's been playing good. So he played back in December there. And then the January 8th, January 16th, he's played two games. Obviously, this is a big risk. And the, the idea here for me was, I just want to purchase him first and foremost, because I think, firstly, he's actually a reasonable pickup for a low-budget either All-Star squad or a low-budget um, Challenger Europe squad. The other reason why I bought him is because I think he's going to have some good games over the next coming days or sorry coming weeks and going to be getting a lot of game time improving his so5 and just becoming a little bit more desirable for people to pick up so it's almost like an investment um in that sense and i also just wanted to see what would happen to the market if i picked up some players so when i bought him all uh this guy here didn't have his listed and this guy here didn't have his listed so these two have just been listed recently he's listed his right below mine um, so I, I guess they got list. I don't know if these guys like follow this guy. And so they got notified that a few of him got bought. And so they decided to sell him or what? I don't know. The thing that I want to talk about with this, when I did this is I, I want to do something long-term with video content where I invest in a set of players. And, and I just want to kind of show how the, the possibilities of, um, investing in a set of players, because I think that they're going to have a good time. And then selling them when they go up in price and making profit. The problem with it is, is unlike FIFA, where you can do that off camera and sell your players as a natural sale, and then, of course, have uh, you know have the profit and not in, not kind of like falsely inflate the market. Is that even though this is real money, and even though that this is based and tied to real life, and this could backfire on me horrifically, which, you know, it cost me £100 or so if it did. Well, it actually probably cost me like about £10 or so if it did, because I could always just sell this guy back at like the £14, £13 that he trades at very regularly. The problem is, is because this is on the blockchain, everything is public. So as soon as I buy him, people that follow my account, which is nearly 600 people now, can just see that I've bought lots of him. And what that causes, what that, what that does is it creates two big problems. Um, and I don't know how this problem can ever be remedied, but it creates two big problems. The first problem it creates is that you might see me buy him and think, oh, Nep knows something. I'm going to buy him too. But you don't know why I bought him. But it, that could be, that could create an issue there, right? Because I could have bought this guy to give away. And in fact, <laughs> I might end up giving these away. I have got a giveaway to come, but... Uh, in this video we're going to announce it i don't know how i'm going to give it away and i would love to take advice from people on the best way to kind of decide who wins the giveaway um but i could just i could be buying these cards to give him away to viewers so there's definitely that instance of just because i buy something it doesn't necessarily mean anything 
but I know for a fact because of the way the FIFA communities worked and because of the way this game is, I know people will look at this, see what I've bought, and then want to buy him too. The other problem with buying this is, and this is why I have to stress and I can't stress enough, this is not financial advice. And do not do what I'm doing because you because I can afford to lose 15, 50, 100 pounds and it not be such a big deal, but I know a lot of other people can't. I know that this will falsely inflate the market of Ergens because I didn't buy him today to sell him today and make profit. I brought him today, I brought him, I bought him today because I feel like based on the research that I have done, and listen, my interpretation of what I've read, what I've seen and how I, how I feel about the information might be completely wrong. And I've, that's why I've tried it on an extremely low budget of player. But my, my idea is over the next sort of seven to 10 days, I think he's going to rise by 30 or 40%. And so therefore, that's when I'll sell him. When he's regularly trading at £18, £20, I want to try and sell him. I didn't want to buy this card because I wanted my viewers or anyone on So Rare to be like, oh, panic by this guy. Neps bought him. That wasn't the, the idea. And I don't know how to create content like that without it being having this issue. This issue of because I bought him, you think you might too. I would urge you, I, I I would recommend heavily that you don't buy this card because I don't want to ever be the the, the creation of somebody purchasing something that when based on my kind of ideas and thoughts and tests and experiments for it to go wrong, right? So um, I bought Ergens for that reason. Also, I got given a card. Uh, I got given Zaniolo um, from an absolutely incredible user and a, and a nice gentleman um as his way of saying thank you to me for my content on so rare which was incredible now zaniolo has a pretty high market price right now right now um and as you can see here his lowest price is about 700 pounds uh that doesn't mean he's necessarily trading at 700 pounds but you could probably argue that you'd sell him for 650 600 pounds or so now i was given this card and so what i want to do is pay that forwards so i don't know if i want to just do a giveaway of the card or if instead I want to sell the card, buy five or six cards worth £100 each and give away to five or six different people. And in general, I don't know what like the, I guess, the protocol is for giveaways within so rare. I don't know what the best way about to do it. If you do it for some random, it might end up going to someone who's not part of the community. Uh, one thing that I was thinking of doing was saying uh, the game week of two, three, eight... The person that finishes in the common league with the most points gets the giveaway that is also like a community member. But even that has its flaws because people that have been playing for longer will have more commons, more choice, be able to get a better score. So let me know. I will I will be doing the giveaway and I will be giving it away eventually. Um, wow, did I win another referral award? Jesus Christ, they're coming in like crazy. Um, let me know. Oh, goalkeeper, let's go. Let me know... Um, what the best way to give it away would actually be. Yeah, that would be very nice. We've got Enrique Franqueza. I've got so many of these cards as well. Now, he's, oh, he's playing. He might be a little uh, little gem there. Um, outside of that, guys, how's my game week gone? To answer you very easily, terribly. I am going to win one reward. My America's team. What? Why does it say DMP for all of them? My America's team got me 308 points and I'm 30 seconds. Unfortunately, in the America's division, 31st would have given me a tier two limited, <laughs> which would have been nice. 32nd is going to give me a high level tier one limited. So I'm going to get one of these guys up here somewhere. There is some okay players here. Um, it's just not super ideal, but hey, we're going to get a reward, which is nice. And uh, I did end up getting as well um the ethereum reward in all star of 205 point ethereum which is 0.01 ethereum um unfortunately first of all um Wijndow and murich had great weeks frankowski was okay uh, Morata had a terrible week uh, i think he got like 24 points or something 27 points and gabriel didn't play because the nld got cancelled however saliba who i put out and put gabriel in for because i got information that saliba was injured or out with covid um, Saliba did actually play and uh, would have got 
which had I had had him in would have got me enough points. Where is Saliba? There you go. 60 points would have got me enough points. It would have taken me up to with the bonus. What's he got? 5%. So I would have got 63 points on Saliba. I don't think it would have got me rewards, um, but would have taken me up to about 283 points. So it would have got me the threshold of... Um, it would have got me the threshold of 0 0.02 ETH, which is a bit disappointing. Uh, what's the prize pool here? So it would have paid down to 300. Where is 300th? How many points is 300th? I can imagine that it's more than 280 uh, odd points. Yeah, we're looking at maybe like 320 points or so for 300th. So I still wouldn't have got a reward. But on that note, the reason why I'm listing up... Um, Morata is because he's just not starting I know there's some some noise about him transferring to Barcelona and if he does I would want to keep him but if I can get a little bit of profit on him now because I bought him for less than I'm selling him for then I'll take it but otherwise if he does go to Barcelona that would be ideal the rest of my week was generally really bad like um, Trabs Bonspor didn't play well they drew 1-1 Adan did alright I don't know why it says zero points. There's obviously uh let me like refresh. See if a little refresh is uh gonna give us something a bit better here. Um maybe they're making some changes or something, I don't know. Oh, there's just an issue there. The under 23s, so um De Ketelair did very, very well. Sergio Gomez did very, very well. Vindal was doing so well, he had like 90 points and then conceded late whilst they were winning 1-0, so lost his clean sheet bonus, but also was the reason they conceded, so had the error leading to goal. So he went down to like 20 points or something. Jao Mario didn't play, and Cervantes as well was uh, didn't get too many points. So uh, a bit disappointing there, the under-23s, but again, you know, we're, we're kind of at the moment just reshaping my whole portfolio. I've got a lot to lots to get rid of, a lot to, lot to do. Champion Europe was a nightmare. Joseph Martins, Hradecki, Royce... Bell and Onisiwo, all just very average points this week. Um, 31 for him, 33 for him, just the 49 for Royce, Rodecki just the 43, and Gelson Martins the 49. So it, it was just super low. Um, we, we just didn't didn't perform very well at all. In the All Star Limited, Laurier, of course, our captain, didn't play. Jason Lee did okay, 52 points. Nuno Santos did very well, 82 points. He's been a good pickup for us so far. Uh, Carlos Acevedo did not do so great, 27 points. And uh, Felix Torres did not do so great. It was okay, 49 points. But the DNP and the Acevedo extreme low scores just absolutely crucified me because at 212 points, you're not too far away. Um, when we look at the prize pool of All-Star Limited, it's 1,250 cards it pays to. So when we look at the leaderboards of all-star limited 1250 cards what would that be that'd be page geez didn't even say page 50 1250th nope page 25 then to 1250th so 1250th it's only 300 points to 301 points um so the fact that i had a dnp and had two absolute stinkers in Acevedo, oh, I suppose actually Torres wasn't too, too bad. Um, was a bit disappointing. We had potential there, but it just wasn't to be this week. And then in the casual, uh, Otavio didn't play. Evan Nielsen did very well, got 91 points. Nicolas Otamendi didn't do so good, just 50 points. Taremi did very well, 62 points. Funny with Evan Nielsen as well. He scored a hat-trick in this game and still only got 91 points. And Coffey didn't play, so uh, I missed out massively there. With this upcoming game week... Um, by the time this video goes live, there'll be time for me to change anything that I'm doing. Um, and the reason why I would potentially be interested in changing things that I'm doing is because I don't really have much going on. So in the mix setup, this is what I'm running. I've put Muric in goal and uh, Muric has a game against in the Turkish League. I've got Agwerd in defence and he is... Ooh. Agwerd playing? I thought he was. He played against Ghana. He played against Comoros. Was this a... This was a... 
African Cup of Nations. So he is maybe I don't know why they haven't got his uh his game in there. Morocco's next game is against Gabon on the 18th tomorrow at 7. I, f I think he's playing. Let me know if he's not. We've got uh, Traore, who should be playing. Thomas Partey, who will be playing. And S Moses Simon, who will be playing. See, even Thomas Partey, it says, did not play, but he did play the last game. I don't know why it says he didn't play there. Um, so that is my uh, my setup uh, for the weekly mix. Got a little bit of hope. I mean, we finished all right in the weekly mix this past game week. As you can see, we finished 127th in the end. Uh, Nuruddin didn't play. And uh, where did I finish in terms of uh, outside? So it pay, it paid down to 32nd, I think. 32nd in, in there. So 32nd place was... 416 points this time around that's actually a lot of points wait what no i was going to say that's a lot of points this isn't the the weekly mix um 30 second paid down to 355 points and i finished what was it 127th so 298 points so i finished on just short of 300 points and i had a dnp and that's so frustrating because if i just had a player that played the 35, 40 points that he, he may or may not have got could have easily got me 355. So I would have needed 50 points. Could easily have got me up here. Could easily have got me up here. So my bad, really my bad, because rares and super rares as the uh, possible rewards would have been extremely nice. Um, so my bad on that one for, for not fielding a five, which is why the five that I've got now, I hope all play. In terms of my all-star, I've got Dutoro in goal. I got better in in defence. I don't have a midfielder that has a game. I don't know if it's worth going and spending a hundred or two hundred pounds on a midfielder to play a game, just based on the fact that I think a lot of people will be in a situation where they won't have players to play, and so I might have a chance of a good reward just by picking up even like an average scorer, 30, 40, 50 points might be enough to make the difference. Um, but I have got Jonathan David for the forward. And I've got Jose Gaia as a backup. So I have got enough players there to play. I don't know if Gaia is going to be starting. I hope he does. We've got no game here. And then we've got some points here. Or, or do I just play for the Ethereum threshold again? I don't know. That's all I've got going in the rare division. And the limited division is a bit different. Because I've got a little bit going on. In the Americas, I have got the Atlas stack. So we've got Vargas to go in. We've got Santa Maria to go in. We've got uh, Marquez to go in. Furch didn't play because he had COVID in the last game. I don't know if he's going to be back or not in time. Uh, if he's not going to be back, I'm going to have to go and buy another player um, because I've got nobody else here that has a game. If he is going to be back, I can use him. I've got about, by the time you watch this video, about maybe 14, 15 hours to decide. And then the last player will be Roja. And the same with Luis Reyes. He missed out last game as well because... Um, because he had COVID. So I would want him back in the team if he's back in the team after COVID. I don't know. But that's my America's team. My Challenger Europe team, again, I have no goalkeeper. So again, I think I sit here and think this is going to be such a weird week. There's going to be so many managers that can't field a team. Do I just go and buy a cheap Challenger Europe goalkeeper or the cheapest that I can find just to throw them in to actually have a chance? Because I've got the Trabzon Sport stack I'm again going to be relying on. Um, now, again, uh, Noakweme, he was out based on COVID. I don't know if he's going to be back. Janini is off AFCON, so I'm not going to be using him. Uh, so I'm going to be putting Turkman back in there again. And that's going to be my sack. But I'm going to need a goalkeeper there for sure. Um, in Champion Europe, I don't have a goalkeeper again. Uh, we've got Diego Carlos from Sevilla, which is nice. We've got Rakitic from Sevilla, which is nice. Uh, and Nezri, unfortunately, away at AFCON. And then uh, Nolito, we can play. He doesn't score very well. And then Ocampos. So we we got some potential here. But Sevilla have got a tough game anyway. And I don't have a goalkeeper. I can't be going out of my way and buying like three goalkeepers. You know, that's a lot of money to spend um, on these goalkeepers. I'm just going to lock in. Did that lock in? No, it didn't. Champion Europe. There must be something wrong with the site right now. Diego Carlos, even Rakitic. 
here, Nolito and Ocampos. I could just go and buy somebody instead of Nolito because Nolito is like, oh, my team's safe. There we go. Nolito is a bit of a bad pick. Under 23 has got nothing going on again. Nothing with Vidal. Uh, th these guys just don't play. These guys just don't play. These guys don't have games and these guys don't play. So uh, again, got absolutely no chance of uh, setting anything there. And then in All-Star, again, no goalkeeper. We could take Vargas and play All-Star instead of Americas because then what I do have is I do have the ability to field uh, some other players here. I could uh, I could take... Uh, I mean, I don't even really have anyone here, to be honest. You know what? I don't even have anyone here that I think would be worthwhile. Ozturk, perhaps. I would I would use Ergun from Hataya Spore. I would use... Uh, I don't even know. Is Janini playing? Janini. Is he getting game time at AFCON? No, he's not. Um... So I, I basically don't have anything going on. I can't even use him. Makweme's out. Reyes out. Basically, it's, it's a mess. So overall, I could field the all-star team, which would have to be the America's players. There's only not even a 1,000 managers in America. And there's 12,000 managers in all-star. What's the all-star prize pool saying? 500 cards. I don't know. It's an interesting game week. Obviously, I... I I, even though there's, we're running out of time, you know, we've got 16 hours from now to go, I don't know what I want to do with it. I don't know if I just want to just field an all-star team and still just save my ETH and use what I've got and just have one of those weeks where it's like, look, this isn't my week. Or if I want to say, no, I'm in that fortunate position where I can go and buy some players, get myself in the higher rewards, sell those players afterwards and make some, make some rewards and make some money. I don't know. Um, but what I do know is that that's where we're at for now. So that's what I bought. That's what I sold. That's where we're at. And uh, that is going to be the end of the video. Interested to see what you guys got to say down below. And uh, yeah, subscribe if you're new. Use that link to sign up. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.